Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a nurse at Covenant Healthcare. Part of my job is help to help keep you keep you safe. Today, what we're gonna read is the book Happy Halloween Stinky Face. If you heard of Stinky Face, I haven't heard of Stinky Face, but this kid has a lot of questions for his mom, and he wants to be as safe as he can be while he's out trick or treating. So let's listen to Stinky Face and all of his questions for his mom, and then at the end, I'll give you tips on how to be safe for Halloween. Let's get reading. Happy Halloween, Stinky Face. It's time to get your costume on, Stinky Face, said Mama. But I had a question. Mama, what if Miss Petrie doesn't know it's really just me and my friends at her door? What if she gets so surprised from our super scary costumes that she throws her candy bowl up in the air and it lands on her head and this candy spills all over. If Mrs. Petrie gets scared, you'll have to show her what a nice trick-or-treater you are. If you say please and thank you and help her pick up the candy, she'll know you're not too terrible. But Mama, but Mama, what if Reese's butterfly costume turns her into a real butterfly and the big wings flap and flap her right up into the sky? Well, that would be awesome. She'll get a great view of all of her friends in the neighborhood's costume parade. But Mama, she won't be able to ring any doorbells if she's flying up in the air. How will she get any trick or treats? If Reese's costume turns her into a real butterfly, I bet she'll flutter down to the door level to trick or treat with you. Reese loves candy, you know. But Mama, but Mama, Jack and Anderson are pirates. What if they can't see so well with those eye patches on and they run into each other and their hooks get all caught together? Oh, if that happens, then Al Alex the Magician will have to wave his magic wand to get the pirates all unstuck. Brian is going to be a lion, Mama. Lions run really fast. What if he runs so fast that we can't keep up with him to trick or treat together? Well, isn't Ryan going to be a football player? Football players run very fast too. Maybe he could catch up and ask the lion to wait for everyone. But Mama, Allie's gonna be a witch and collect candy in her black cauldron. What if the magic cauldron boils all of her candy into a goopy, oozy river of candy soup? If that kind of magic happens, we'll all blow on Allie's cauldron of candy soup to help her cool it off. Then we'll give her a big twisty straw so she can slurp the candy right up. Okay, Mama, that's a good idea. But what if Lily Cat, who is a black cat, gets her long tail stuck in the door at one of the houses? Well, Mama said, firefighters are good at rescuing cats. Maybe Jordan could save her since he's a firefighter this year. But Mama, but Mama, what if, what if the candle in our jack-o'-lantern blows out? What if we accidentally walk into some big, stinky, sticky, cobwebs and get all tangled up? What if my teeth get stuck in the caramel apple and I can't get my face loose? What if a lot of bats come down and they swoop down at us in the dark? Well, lucky for you, Nicholas and Ethan are superheroes. I'm pretty sure superheroes have powers to fix all those problems. So Stinky Face, let's have some fun, okay? Maybe I should be a superhero too, or maybe a gorilla, or maybe a monster, or 
I hear your friends coming now. How about this year we stick with your co ghost costume and we'll start worrying first thing tomorrow about what you'll be next year. Okay, happy Halloween, Mama. Happy Halloween, my goofy, spooky, stinky face. All right, so what did you think about Stinky Face? He sure did have a lot of questions, didn't he? But in the end, his mom answered his questions for him. So do you have any questions about being safe for Halloween? I'm gonna give you a few tips. First of all, you always wanna go trick-or-treating in a well-lit area where everybody can see you. And you always wanna be aware of your surroundings. Make sure you know who's in your group, who's with you. And group, that's a key word. Never go trick-or-treating alone. You should be going with a friends or an adult. Definitely have an adult with you. You're gonna get a lot of cool things when you go out trick-or-treating. Make sure there's an adult that looks over any of that candy or treats that you get when you get home to make sure that it's safe. It's gonna be fun out there and you're gonna to wanna to run, but make sure you realize that there's cars still out there and you wanna obey all the traffic rules. Don't cut across somebody's yards or take off down alleys because that's not always a safe thing to do. But in the end, you wanna make sure you have fun and be safe. Happy Halloween, everyone.